Welcome to the engaging world of the classic TV series Too Close for Comfort. Set against the backdrop of 1980s television, this sitcom follows the lives of a cartoonist, Henry Rush, and his unconventional family residing in a crowded San Francisco home. Before diving into the intriguing details, consider this. Out of the array of characters in this timeless series, which one left an indelible mark on you? Or perhaps, which classic Hollywood actor's performance became your personal favorite? Now, let's unravel some captivating aspects of the show. Did you know that Ted Knight, known for his stellar work in classic Hollywood, played a significant role in Too Close for Comfort? His presence added a seasoned touch to the sitcom, making it a memorable experience for viewers. As we stroll down memory lane, we're curious, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this classic series? Share your stories and nostalgia in the comments below, we would love to hear from you. Now, let's explore some random facts about the show, shedding light on its behind-the-scenes dynamics and the cultural impact it had during its time. And remember, the floor is yours to reminisce and share your thoughts. What character resonated with you the most, and which classic Hollywood actor stole the spotlight for you? Your stories and memories are the heart of our community, so let them flow. Share your insights in the comments, and let's keep the conversation alive. The house featured in the opening sequence and various scenes of the show is located at 171-173 Buena Vista, Saint San Francisco, California. Monroe, a character in the series, is seen riding his motorcycle out of the garage in one episode, and Norman provides accurate directions to the house over the phone in another episode. The theme song of the show was composed by Johnny Mandel, who also wrote the theme for M.A.S.H. Deborah Van Valkenburg, known for her role as Ted Knight's daughter, Jackie Rush, in the series, also starred in two cult movies about gang warfare, namely The Warriors and Streets of Fire, both directed by Walter Hill. So, whether it's the iconic house in San Francisco, the shared composer with M.A.S.H., or the actress roles beyond the show, Too Close for Comfort has its share of interesting trivia. In a surprising turn, the camaraderie between Ted Knight and Ed Asner, who portrayed close-knit characters on the Mary Tyler Moore show, extended beyond the small screen during the 80s. Despite being the best of friends, a rift emerged toward the end of Too Close for Comfort's run, leading to a prolonged period of silence between the two actors. The unexpected reconciliation only occurred when Ted Knight found himself on his deathbed. Notably, the show underwent a transformation in its sixth season, adopting the title The Ted Knight Show. However, when the episodes entered syndication, they reverted to the original Too Close for Comfort title, revealing an intriguing aspect of the show's broadcasting history. On a lighter note, Ted Knight's character sported a University of Michigan sweatshirt, adding a subtle touch of personalization to the show. These behind-the-scenes dynamics and interesting anecdotes shed light on the multifaceted nature of Too Close for Comfort. The roots of the 1980 TV series Too Close for Comfort can be traced back to Brian Cook's British TV sitcom Keep It in the Family. This American adaptation found its way into the hearts of viewers, becoming a notable part of the television landscape. Interestingly, Cook had a knack for successful transatlantic adaptations, with another of his UK shows, Man About the House, transforming into the well-known as Series 3's company. The show's connection to its British predecessor adds a layer of context to its inception and evolution. As it navigated its way through storylines and character developments, Too Close for Comfort emerged as more than just a sitcom. It grappled with unique situations, including unexpected character arcs like Monroe, who was initially meant for just one episode, but became a regular due to his popularity among the audience. Notably, the series took a bold step in one infamous episode that delved into a seldom explored territory on sitcoms. In a plotline that raised eyebrows, Monroe found himself in a situation where he became the victim of unwanted advances from two women. This episode, titled For Every Man, There's Two Women, showcased a rare and controversial storyline, providing a distinct moment in television history. From its roots in British television to the unexpected character developments, Too Close for Comfort stands out as a unique entry in the world of sitcoms, offering viewers more than just laughs. The show's ability to tackle unconventional subjects like Monroe's unexpected popularity and the controversial episode adds to its complexity, making it a noteworthy piece of television history. In one notable episode, Ted Knight, the seasoned actor of the series, sported a university sweatshirt with genuine enthusiasm. 
This seemingly simple act triggered an unexpected connection with college and university students who admired the show. Fans began sending Knight various logo sweatshirts, prompting him to incorporate this fan-driven tradition into the episodes. Consequently, Knight started wearing different university sweatshirts in each show, showcasing a unique bond between the actor and the viewers. As the sweatshirt trend gained momentum, Knight's character became a canvas for displaying the diverse range of fan scent apparel. This unusual yet endearing interaction not only added a personal touch to the show, but also demonstrated the impact and influence of audience engagement in the realm of television. Interestingly, this practice unintentionally marked a distinctive chapter in Ted Knight's television career as it became his final TV production. Despite plans for a seventh season, the show's continuation was abruptly halted by Knight's untimely death. The unexpected turn of events brought an end to a planned extension, leaving fans and the television industry to reflect on the unique legacy created by the show and its charismatic lead. The university sweatshirt phenomenon, initiated by a simple wardrobe choice, not only symbolized a connection between the actor and the audience, but also inadvertently became a poignant moment in the trajectory of Too Close for Comfort. It showcased the unanticipated ways in which a television series can leave a lasting impact transcending its scripted narrative to create a memorable bond with its viewers. In conclusion, the University Sweatshirt Saga in Too Close for Comfort exemplifies the unpredictability and depth that can arise from seemingly minor aspects of a television show, emphasizing the profound connection between the audience and the actors. This unintentional tradition, spurred by a single episode, became a unique hallmark of the series and, ultimately, Ted Knight's final contribution to television, As we bid adieu to the world of cozy apartments and quirky characters that made our hearts dance with laughter, let's take a moment to unravel the nostalgic threads of our personal connection with the timeless gem that is too close for comfort. This 1980s TV series wasn't just a show. It was a canvas painted with hues of humor, warmth, and a dash of unexpected hilarity. As you reflect on the countless episodes that etch smiles on your face, why not share your cherished memories or thoughts? Whether it's the witty banter between characters, the relatable family dynamics, or the unforgettable comedic twists, your reflections add depth to the tapestry of shared experiences. Maybe you found a bit of yourself in Henry Rush, the lovable cartoonist, or perhaps you chuckled at the eccentricities of Monroe Ficus, the quintessential neighbor. Too Close for Comfort was merely a spectator sport. It was a journey of self-discovery wrapped in the cozy embrace of sitcom charm. So, dear reader, unlock those hidden chambers of reminiscence and share your anecdotes with fellow enthusiasts. Your stories are the missing pieces that complete the puzzle of collective appreciation for this classic series. Let the digital air be filled with your laughter, musings, and the unique hues you've painted onto the canvas of Too Close for Comfort. Thank you for walking down memory lane with us, for being a part of this delightful conversation. Your time and fondness for the show are treasures we hold dear, until we unravel more tales from the golden age of sitcoms, happy reminiscing.